wanted to be Mary in the play. But instead, I'm just a shepherd. So I'm going to steal the show. But Mary was humble and put others first. Do you think she would do what you're planning to do? Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even good evening. My name is Zach, and this is Keys for Kids. You know, growing up, the Christmas play was always a big deal at my church. It wasn't just kids. There were teenagers and adults, too, and tons of people would come and see it. So if you got a speaking part, well, you looked pretty important. The problem was I never got to talk. I was always shepherd number three or the fourth wise man who didn't get a name. Every year I'd come home crying because I didn't get to do something important. And then I finally read Philippians 2, 3. It says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. That verse taught me that I shouldn't be concerned about how important other people thought I was. But instead, I should try to help others as best I can. Our story today is called The Christmas Play. Carly stood on stage with the other shepherds at the church's Christmas play. She scowled at Miss Lena, her Sunday school teacher in the front row. Carly wanted to be Mary. She wanted to hold baby doll Jesus. Tessa, who had the role of Mary, wasn't even a good actress. Then Carly had an idea. When the angel came to tell them the good news of Jesus' birth, the shepherds calmly followed the star toward the stable on the other side of the stage, except Carly, who sprinted ahead. Tessa gasped. Carly, what are you doing? My name's not Carly. Carly leaned toward Tessa's microphone. My name is Mary and you stole my baby. Give him back. Carly tried to grab baby doll Jesus. Tessa backed into the cardboard stable, which crashed to the ground. A few of the little sheep actors started crying. Miss Lena ran onto the stage. Consider this a brief intermission, she said to the church members. Give us a minute to sort this out. Carly's mom stepped onto the stage as well. Carly, what were you thinking? Carly's stomach twisted with regret. I I don't know. She wanted to be the star, but instead she ruined the play. Come sit with me for the rest of the play, Carly, Miss Lena said. Carly hung her head. Okay. As Carly watched the rest of the play, she realized Tessa was a great Mary. The real Mary was humble and kind. She didn't think she was better than everyone else, like Carly just did. On the ride home, Carly said, I was only thinking about myself with what I did today. Mom nodded. You know, the Bible talks about putting others first. Jesus did that when he became human and died for our sins to save us. He did that for us because he loved us. And because we trust in Jesus, we can love others and live like Him. We can be joyful and content in whatever role we have. Even if it's the role of a shepherd or sheep, Carly asked. And her mom nodded. I want to love others like Jesus, Carly said. And I can start by telling Tessa and Miss Lena I'm sorry. So what about you? Have you ever fought to be the center of attention? Do you sometimes think so much about yourself that you forget about people around you? We all have times when we can be selfish, but Jesus saved us from sin so we could live with love and unity, and he will help us put others before ourselves. Humbling ourselves and thinking of others first is a great way to show the love of Jesus. Our key verse is found in the New Testament book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. And our key thought for today, put others first. If you love the Keys for Kids stories every day, now you can read them on your Nook or Kindle. Grab a parent and go to keysforkids.net and click shop. I'm Zach. Thanks for listening to Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.